In this video today, I'm going to answer the question that has been plaguing mankind since the very beginning of time. Why do I need to take a shit after I drink alcohol? Coming up next. So for those of you guys who are joining me for the first time, my name is Dr. Islam, and yes, I'm a poop guru. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. So in today's Poop Tip Thursday, I'm gonna answer a question that a patient asked me uh, on Instagram. Her name is Rachel. She said, hey, Dr. Islam, I have noticed that I have to take a dump after I drink alcohol or go partying. What the heck is going on? Well, Rachel, great question. So this is actually called beer shits or beer poo, and we'll call it beer poo from here on out. There's so many names for this particular condition, including day after drinking shits or dads. I like that one. That's pretty cool because I'm a dad. Rum bum after grog bog, and my favorite, bud muds. Yes. It is a real condition, it is a real problem, and actually a lot of people suffer from having to use the restroom after drinking alcohol, after going out, and they just have this massive poo, and they don't understand why. Well, in this video, we will answer the question, what happens to alcohol when it enters your body? Why do you need to go to the restroom after you drink alcohol? And number three, my tips to help out with this condition. So whenever we ingest food, normally food actually starts digesting in the mouth with the saliva, goes down the esophagus and goes into the stomach where digestion continues. And from there it goes into the small intestine and into the colon Then eventually you poop it out. But with alcohol, it's a little bit different. So alcohol actually goes directly into the stomach. There's no digestion that occurs in the mouth or in the saliva. Now when it gets into the stomach, it slurches and slurches and slurches, and about 20% of the alcohol is absorbed in the stomach, which means 80% gets dumped into the small intestine. This occurs in a very rapid fashion, especially if you drink alcohol without eating any food. As soon as it hits into the small intestine, that's when the absorption begins as it's going through the liver to get detoxified. Now the liver is an organ that detoxifies everything that goes into the body, but one of the problems with alcohol is that it doesn't detoxify that quickly. Typically about one drink per hour, which means all the rest of the alcohol gets spread all throughout the body. And this is why alcohol has an effect on pretty much every single organ that you have. When it goes to the brain, this is where you can get the sensation of being drunk. It can also block hormones, including a hormone called antidiuretic hormone or ADH, which is the hormone that actually reabsorbs water. And so by blocking that, this is why you have to pee so much after you drink alcohol. But the question is, why do I need to take a dump after I drink alcohol? There are five reasons why you need to take a dump after you drink alcohol. Reason number one is that alcohol actually impairs the absorption of certain electrolytes inside your colon. So your colon is an organ that really tries to reabsorb nutrients and electrolytes that you need. Alcohol actually impairs that absorption. So because of that, more and more will be inside your colon and eventually you have to take a dump. But in addition to, alcohol actually changes the mucosal lining of your colon. So it actually causes the mucosal lining to be shed more and more and more. So that shedding actually ends up in your colon as poop. Number two is that whenever you're drinking alcohol, you're actually drinking more liquid than what you normally do. Keep in mind guys, alcohol is liquid. And if you're gonna drink more liquid, more of it's going to be secreted into your colon and you're gonna have slicker bowel movements. Yes, slick. Number three. I can almost bet you that whenever you are drinking alcohol or at a party, you're probably eating like crap as well. So that beer with that cheeseburger or french fries or chili fries or chicken wings, that is not food that is made to help you go to the restroom easier. It's greasy, full of spices, and that in addition to beer or alcohol is going to make you use the restroom more frequently. But not only that, so if you enjoyed that mixed drink that has sugar in there, that sugar most likely is an artificial sweetener. So many people have an intolerance to artificial sweeteners that that can make them use the restroom more often and have gas and bloating on top of that. Reason number four is that you're actually contracting more of your GI tract when you drink alcohol. So alcohol will cause more contraction of the colon, more contraction of the rectum, so it's just 
things are going through quicker. And obviously because of that, you're gonna have to take that dump really, really quick. And number five is that alcohol has wheat and gluten in it. Now there are a good number of people that have gluten sensitivity. Yes, it is real. Don't blow me off. Don't get mad at me. But yes, it is actually a real condition. There are a lot of people who have sensitivity to wheat products and they have gluten sensitivity. And that can make gut issues a lot worse, whether it's diarrhea, bloating, indigestion, and upset stomach. And for a lot of my patients, this combination can make it more difficult for you to drink alcohol. It is a quintuple whammy, right? Five is quintuple. Yeah, quintuple whammy on your gut when you drink alcohol. No wonder so many people have the beer poos and they want to know what's going on. Well, I'm gonna give you three tips I recommend that you do to helpfully help you from using the restroom. Tip number one, try to take some fiber before you go out. Yes, fiber actually works and it helps out with a lot of gut issues, especially diarrhea. Now the fiber that I recommend is soluble fiber. So get something like psyllium or fiber or citrus cell. Start off slow so you don't have a lot of bloating, but for a lot of my patients, taking fiber before you go out is gonna help you to prevent the runs. Tip number two, if you can't do tip number one, well then eat fibrous food. Guys, come on. It's pretty simple. Try to have food that's a lot of fiber whenever you're going out. Maybe it's broccoli. Yeah, I know, having broccoli during a party sounds so cool, but it will help out with your gut issues. Things like crackers, whole grains. These are things that are high in fiber that should hopefully prevent the runs. Tip number three, try to alternate your alcohol with water. So, drink alcohol, drink water, drink alcohol, Drink water. Yes, yeah, see if you can alternate. Not only will this decrease the amount of alcohol, it also help minimize the effect of a hangover, minimize the effect for gut issues, and also will reduce calories. Alcohol has so many empty calories that are there, and people don't realize how much weight they're putting on by drinking more alcohol. By mixing it or putting one alcohol, then one water, you're helping your gut out. But this is why you can have beer poos after you drink alcohol. Hopefully these tips will help you out the next time you go out. My question of the day for you guys, what questions do you want me to answer on the next Poop Tip Thursday? If you want to be featured on the next Poop Tip Thursday, put your question down below and let me know what questions I can answer for you guys. And so if you wanna find out the number one cause for bloating that I see in my clinic, click over here. Or if you wanna see if you need to get a fecal transplant, yes, a poop transplant, for your IBS, click over here. But guys, I wanna thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and stay happy and stay healthy. Since the very beginning of time, why do I need, why do I need to take a sh Great question. And this is actually called, <laughs> this is actually called poo sh or beer poo. I'm oh, sorry. Day after day, no. When it goes to the brain, obviously you can get hungover or have When it goes to the brain, this is where you can get, you know, that, that Well, there are five reasons why you have to take a dump, why you have to go poo, why you gotta take a dump, no, so scratch shot. So there are five reasons why you need to take it ah, of your colon. So it actually causes the muscle, that muscle. If you enjoy that mixed drink, you know, a little, uh, well, that's the wrong one. That's marijuana. My bad. No, totally wrong. Totally wrong. And number five is that alcohol has a bomb. That has a bomb. Blah, blah, blah. So it's a five. It, it's a, wait, what is five? Quintuple? Yes. Quintuple. We, it is a quintuple? Yeah, I think so. It is a quintuple. We went, yeah. These are things that are high in fiber that should hopefully prevent the runs from causing you to cause. These are things that are high in fiber that are, yeah. If you want to be featured, featured. The beer shits, the bud muds. I did not know that was a real problem until you told me, so thank you. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Beer poops, beer muds, mud dubs. It's terrible man, that sucks.